tragedy in Daytona tonight. A car hits a mom and her one year old child. The toddler has died and police say the driver suffers from Alzheimer's. I'm Matt Austin and I'm Lisa Bell. Just a sad situation unfolding tonight. The car hit them as the mom was pushing the child in a stroller near Williamson Boulevard and Bent Tree Drive. Sashel Saunders is there live tonight. Sashel, how did all of this happen? Well, Matt, Lisa, investigators are really still trying to figure all of that out. They just opened this road about a half hour ago. What they could tell us was that this 85 year old driver had to cross over four lanes, a median, a grass buffer and a ditch to hit that woman as she was walking her child on the sidewalk. I cannot tell you how unfathomable this is Daytona Beach Police Chief Mike Chitwood still trying to wrap his mind around it. 23 year old mom Christian Sims taking an afternoon walk with her one year old boy Iris crushed by an out of control driver. How many of us here out here and watching our mothers and fathers and grandparents, how many of us have pushed a stroller on the side of a road and you would never in a million years think that something like this could happen. The driver, 85 year old Ray Beams, an Alzheimer's patient, had just been reported missing from Port Orange when his car slammed into the back of an SUV near Williamson and Bent Tree Drive. Somehow he makes contact with the rear of that SUV, sends it end over end, flipping over into the northbound lanes. He then loses control, drives across the median. After flying across the median, the car crashed into this tree, dragging the mom and child underneath. Neighbors ran outside to try to free that child from under the car. But he wouldn't survive the damaged stroller haunting a young family who frequently used the sidewalk. Just start playing it in your head, thinking about like, what if it was us? Now the first crash victim whose SUV flipped is doing OK. She could not remember what happened. They took her to the hospital. The 85 year old driver and the mother who was walking her son are both in the hospital tonight, though, in very serious condition. Reporting live in Daytona Beach, Sashel Saunders, News 6. Just a terrible story, Sashel. Thank you.